this will be a, uh, a short video, finally. I cut it down to um, all of under 10 minutes, which is a new record. Uh, I tried mounting the camera on the wing strut, and I wasn't sure if it would fall off or what might happen. I thought this might reduce the vibration, but obviously it actually vibrated more than being mounted on the nose wheel. So, as a result, uh, I got some shaky videos and I cut out just about everything. I'm picking off here, obviously, and we'll look at the true flight plant again and make sure everybody is there. And we'll fly right over shortly to Mesquite, and I made a touch-and-go landing there. Get a little bit of view of Mesquite. Uh, the reason I left this much in is at lower air speeds, like for takeoff and landing, the shaking wasn't quite as bad. At higher speed, uh, apparently it was the wind vibrating it, and it was shaking up pretty bad. Okay, we're approaching the Mesquite Runway, which is the top center. We're almost lined up with it. This is the town of Mesquite. Many developments. One of these is the Sun City Mesquite, I think. And that's the interstate, which I think is is Interstate 15, going towards uh, Salt Lake City and St. George, then going to the left, it's towards Las Vegas. And that waviness is vibration in the camera. landing towards the northeast for St. George would be following the interstate up to the upper right. There are quite a few golf courses. There are more than three golf courses in Mesquite, I think, and that's the obviously green areas. And there is one golf course that is right practically adjoining the airport. That's the airport runway top center. We're lined up on it. It may look like we're not quite lined up right, but that's just uh, camera position is a little uh, distorting. We'll touch down and then we'll take off again without stopping. Now we've gone over to the Mormon Mountains, which are a little north of Overton, and I just thought there were some interesting formations. Kind of gnarly looking rock. 
that we stung them up, up. But we've got a nice flat area with a road off to the uh, right side. We're heading west right now. Again, there's that vibration story about that. Oh, probably a different location on the camera. Again, there is quite a bit, bit of green down there, which is unusual. Had lots and lots of rains here. More kind of gnarly looking rock. Now we're actually turning the, uh, south. Those are the uh, Virgin Mountains up ahead. And I still haven't seen any wildlife. You would think there'd be mountain goats or something standing around. There was also some turbulence. Uh, you can see the rocking of the wings. That's kind of normal if they're a thermal. Next, I wanted to have a look at that coal-fired power plant that was uh, shut down, and it uh, looks like they're dismantling some things down there. Quite a few cars still parked there, but it looks like they've taken down some buildings, and they're otherwise uh, uh, working on it or salvaging what they can. And finally, we're back to Overton, and we're landing to the northwest. And it's a little turbulent. There might be a little bit of a crosswind if the wings are tilted as we touch down. That I was allowing for the uh, crosswind. And we're rolling out kind of long. We could stop much sooner, but the turnoff to the taxiway is halfway down the runway. And so I let it coast until we get to the turnoff. 